I'm, you know, fascinated by natural materials um, and how they work and how they've evolved their structures over millions of years to um, serve a particular purpose. Seashells, turtle shells, antlers, teeth, bone, they're all put together in a very complex way to withstand the loads that they experience. And so, you know, we'd like to understand the um, design principles behind these so that we can design better materials. Our particular application that we're looking at is, is for body armor. So we cut very small samples of seashell knacker, which is the inner layer of the outer shell of a gastropod mollusk. We cut very small samples with a diamond saw first and then we polish them down using papers with smaller and smaller sand particles until we can get an extremely fine finish to the surface. We then take those samples and we put them in what's called a mechanical tester. A load is applied to the sample at a constant rate and we measure the force that's applied to the sample and how far it deforms down and so that gives us an indication of the mechanical properties of the sample. So these materials, they're, um, they're extremely special in the sense that they're built up from units that are made at the nanometer scale. They're made up of very, very small subunits and they have extraordinary mechanical properties and they're much more complex than many man-made materials. And having the instruments that we have here is having access to the best instruments in the world. The atomic force microscope is a new microscope in which there's um, a very small probe tip. At the end of the tip there's only a few atoms and so it can both image the sample down to molecular resolution um, as well as probe the forces that exist on the sample surface and also within the sample as well. Now the the constituent materials, the polymers and the ceramics, so the calcium carbonate, are inherently very weak. We'd like to understand how the materials are put together in such a way that yields a very strong material and then as material scientists, chemists, we can replace those constituent materials with very strong man-made materials and improve the, the properties by orders of magnitude even further. As we're learning more and more, there are continuous improvements. And I mean, if you really would like to see a synthetic seashell on a soldier, I mean, I would say five, ten years if we continue along, along these lines.